Welcome to Art History with Jackie. This week, we will be talking about Damien Hirst, one of the most controversial figures in the contemporary art world. He is one of the young British artists who dominated the UK art scene in the 90s. He is reportedly the United Kingdom's richest living artist and has become known for his strategies of manipulating the art market. Hirst focuses on the theme of death in many of his works. He rose to fame because of a series of pieces in which he used dead animals preserved in formaldehyde. The best known of this series is The Physical Impossibility of Death in the Mind of Someone Living. This piece is a 14-foot tiger shark immersed in formaldehyde in a clear display case. Damien Hurst was born in Bristol, but grew up in Leeds. He had a rebellious childhood and was arrested twice for shoplifting. Art was the only subject in which Hurst succeeded while at school. He attended Jacob Kramer School of Art. One of his largest influences while there was Julian Spaulding, who was known for creating abstract collages from torn and cut colored paper. After graduating from his second art school, Goldsmiths in London, Hearst began participating in group warehouse shows. During his second show, successful gallerist Charles Saatchi bought Hearst's first major animal installation. This piece was titled A Thousand Years and consisted of a large glass case containing maggots and flies feeding on a rotten cow's head. It was during this time that Hearst said, I can't wait to get into a position to make really bad art and get away with it. In 1991, Charles Saatchi had offered to fund whatever artwork Hearst wanted to make, and the result was showcased in the first Young British Artists exhibition at the Saatchi Gallery in London. This piece was the physical impossibility of death in the mind of someone living, and it sold for £50,000. As a result of this show, Hearst was nominated for that year's Turner Prize. Since the work's creation in 1991, the formaldehyde has slowly eaten away at the animal's body. Hearst says that the formaldehyde is the process of death and decay, and that the work was always meant to disintegrate. The buyer disagrees. Hearst's first major international exhibition was in the Venice Biennale in 1993, in which his work Mother and Child Divided, a cow and calf cut into sections and exhibited in a series of separate glass cases. Throughout the 90s and early 2000s, Damien Hearst saw much success as an artist. He continued to exhibit works around the world. He gained the world record for the most expensive work of art by a living artist through the sale of his Lullaby Spring in June 2007. This piece sold for $19.2 million. Another series that has become his trademark is his spin paintings. These are created on a spinning circular surface. His spot paintings have also brought him great fame and controversy. The controversy lying in the fact that these paintings are created exclusively by his assistants. In September 2008, Hearst made an unprecedented move for a living artist by selling a complete show at auction. His show, Beautiful Inside My Mind Forever, was sold at Sotheby's and raised 111 million pounds, breaking the record for a one artist auction. This auction was unusual because Hearst bypassed galleries and sold directly to the public. Hearst has been praised in the way he has navigated the art world to increase interest in the arts and created a celebrity persona. He has been credited with raising the profile of British art. However, there have been equally negative comments made with regards to his artistic career. He has been criticized for his extensive use of assistance, and many critics believe that his works are unoriginal. So what is he? Great artist or great con man? Undoubtedly, Damien Hirst's art sparks reaction, and whether it's good or bad, isn't that the point of art in the first place? Thank you, and see you next week.